Dubai is an extraordinary place. Apart from the awesome nightlife, those tall buildings, and the delicious cuisine, this country also offers you a chance to see man-made islands. However, some reports suggest that these man-made islands are now sinking back to the sea. What will happen if they sink completely? You will find out in this video. Dubai has a reputation for extravagance. A luxurious paradise has been constructed in the changing sands of an infinite desert. And everything is brand new and dazzling. But years previous, they undertook something so extravagant that it dwarfed everything else, including the Burj Khalifa, the sparkling waterfalls, and all the gold-plated Lamborghinis. The world is a vast artificial archipelago that resembles the nations of the world and is so huge that it can be viewed from space. However, it is sinking now. Nonetheless, a land tribunal subsequently provided indications that the islands already started to collapse and the rivers that split them were disintegrating owing to the invasion of sand. The islands were constructed with displaced sand scooped up from the deepest part of the ocean. The world's creators had lofty goals. They were initially intended to be filled with hotels and expensive residences that would only be available to the very wealthy. The territories of the world, reachable only by watercraft, i.e. mega yacht, were auctioned off to the wealthy elite. Owners might then assert ownership of Ireland, Britain, or whatever portion of the world they had bought. The developer Nakheel claims that before word of the islands falling into the water started to circulate, almost 70% of such 300 islands had already been sold. The majority of the development has now been stopped on all but several of the islands. However, Greenland is still being built. This collection of archipelagos was doomed, according to the maritime firm Penguin Marine. For safety reasons, the business that was in charge of providing logistical and transportation services towards the island frequently recorded assessments. The primary cause of this was the gradual return of the sand used to create the 300 archipelagos, which were dug up from the seabed. The waves of the Persian Gulf began to rise and the islands were starting to vanish, according to a photo obtained from the space station in February 2010. Dubai has stopped assisting the World Initiative and has allowed it to fail on its own. Since spilling billions and billions of sand into the sea on the upper edge of aquatic life isn't precisely regarded as environmentally acceptable or viable, the situation is very different now than it was two decades ago. For this purpose, Dubai has most likely made the correct call by forsaking any additional sand compacting development that would have been required to finish some of these initiatives. You can see what is on this page. We're discussing island ventures like Nakheel Properties. The Dubai Waterfront Project, according to the operator of all these archipelagos, has merely been converted into a long mission. When asked if they have some intentions for the future, they responded that they don't understand what to do about the islands because there isn't anything that can be built on them. You'll expect a suitable story with the adventurous islands, although the sand watching has indeed been finished to this very day, only one of the archipelagos has been established. This is because a large number of the sand retching is still not finished, and since that's now been removed from the equation, Nikhil properties do not have many choices. The island of Ubernavik, Although most of the islands have been left as dunes, a project titled The Heart of Europe is currently being built there that would populate six of the world's largest islands with resorts, mills, and castles. It was designed to intend to support the project and primarily served as an upper portion to much more easily encourage investment in the project. The project is estimated to cost $5 billion when it is finished in 2023 and is intended to imitate the architectural style of some of the most famous European cities such as Monaco and Venice. Remarkably, the declining group, a European real estate firm with Austrian roots, is not the company behind such a project. As you may recall, Dubai is unable to add more sand to the ocean, so to prevent this project from failing, Dubai had to find a different way to utilize these dunes. As a result, Dera Islands were created. But what about Palmyra, which doesn't imitate that anywhere close to a palm it was intended to look like? Well, as you may recall, Dubai is unable to add more sand to the ocean. 
I doubt seriously that the strategy is to develop properly the four archipelagos into tourist attractions where opulent shops, hotels, and attractions will be designed to accommodate them, despite Dubai's effort to rename the proposal and revitalize it without spilling any more sand. They claim it will be completed this year. It's undoubtedly a resourceful approach to getting by. Last but not least, we have The Universe, a project that was never completed and about which it has been nearly inconceivable to find any remarks indicating that it will never be completed. Similar to the Palm Jewel Venture and the UAE Waterfront Initiative, it is feasible that the extremely ambitious archipelago of the world will not ever be completed. I believe the lesson to be learned from all this is that Dubai is gradually realizing this. As a result, over time, these islands will naturally float away into the ocean. There will be a significant financial loss. People who purchased those islands years ago, before they were even established, would be greatly inconvenienced. The construction of these opulent resorts and eateries on the island had people quite thrilled, but now their dreams would never materialize. There won't be as much tourism. If this project had been completed, tourism would have been extremely high. The economy would have benefited greatly from that. But without tourism, the economy won't grow. However, new construction is starting. Josef Kleindeist of the real estate firm Kleindeist wishes to make it snow in the heart of Europe all year long in an interview with The Guardian. The Heart of Europe, which spans six archipelagos on the world in Dubai, is described as a first-of-its-kind spectacular hospitality project, with each island drawing inspiration from a few of Europe's most intriguing locales, according to the Kleindeist website. Plans include Swiss chalets, Austrian palaces, and Russian mansions. According to Kleindeist, the construction will be completed in preparation for Expo 2020 in Dubai. In a country like Dubai, where wintertime highs rarely fall below 57 degrees Fahrenheit, snow is a distant fantasy. To efficiently create an outside climate-controlled environment, property developer the Kleindeist Group plans to make it snow and rain on Dubai's artificial The World Islands Archipelago. This goal has already started to take shape thanks to a test snowman that was constructed using snow created by sophisticated equipment. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so, and turn on notifications to never miss any updates. I will see you in the next video, take care and stay tuned.